now there are some uh, different kinds of questions which are possible on trees and uh, for example if i say if i give you the nodes for example if i say there are three nodes five nodes or so seven nodes then how many number of different binary trees which are possible with these many nodes okay and here whenever i will be talking about this number of nodes then in that case i'll be talking about two uh, types of node one is unlabeled node and second one is labeled node okay so what is this unlabeled and the labeled nodes okay for example if uh, whenever i am representing a node that means i am representing a node like this now if i give a name to this node if i give some uh, name for example a b c inside this node that means this node becomes a labeled node okay now let us try to see how many different binary trees are possible for um, given number of nodes okay so we'll be making a table here this is node and this is number of binary trees possible and here in this case i'll be talking about the unlabeled binary trees okay now if for example you are having one node in that case when you are having only one single node there is only one single binary tree which is possible which is having only one single node okay now if we are having two nodes in that case uh, how many different binary trees are possible one binary tree will be something like this and the second binary tree will be something like this that means there are two binary trees which are possible okay now if we are having three nodes then how many different binary trees are possible in that case so if we are having three nodes then these many different binary trees are possible okay and i guess one binary tree will be like this so if we are having three nodes in that case there are five different binary trees are possible okay and if you see if we are having four nodes then how many different binary trees are possible okay and in the same way we can extend this question up to if we are having n nodes then how many different binary trees are possible uh, uh, when we are having n nodes and these all these nodes are unlabeled okay now for this question you can uh, solve this question by uh, method of induction i'm giving you exact formula in this case so whenever i'm saying how many number of different how many number of different binary trees are possible then the formula will be 2n c n upon n plus 1 okay so these many different binary trees are possible when we are having n nodes now if we are having four nodes in that case it will be so in case of four uh, nodes we are having 8 c4 upon me 5 these many different binary trees are possible now in case of three how many number of different binary trees are possible this this will be 6 c3 upon me 4 so these many different binary trees are possible so if you convert this then this will be 6 Into five into four upon three into two into one multiplied by four, which is equivalent to four, uh, four and four, and this two and three uh, to multiply by three six. So this six will be cancelled. So there are four five different binary trees are possible. In the case of four, if I say then this will be eight into seven into five, uh, seven into six into five. Okay, and then we are having. Upon four into three into two into one into five. So this five and five is cancelled. This three into two is six. This six is cancelled, and this four into two is eight. Therefore, we are going to get two into seven, which is equal to fourteen different binary trees are possible. Okay. So all all this was in the case of when we are we are having um, unlabeled binary trees. Okay. Now we can extend this question for labeled binary trees also. Okay, so now this question can be extend, extended something like this: How many number of different binary trees are possible when we are having labeled nodes? Okay, so if we are having one single node, in that case, only one single binary tree is possible. Now, if we are having two nodes, then let us see how many different binary trees are possible. So, when we are having two nodes, then uh, we are having, for example, A and B, and we can also have B. and a and we can also have a and b and we can also have b and a so in that case two different binary trees are possible now if you try to draw uh, with three nodes then how many different binary trees are possible with three nodes they will be a b c right and we can make different combinations with this single type so this will be b 
A, C, it can also be B, C, A, it can also be A, C, B, and we can make something like C, A, B, and we can make C, uh, B, A. Okay. Now, if I take some other type, for example, if I take something like this type, so in that case also we are will be having six six different binary trees. So if you try to draw this, then this will be A, B, C, and then B, A, C, and we can also have A, C, and B, and so on. Now, if you try to draw uh, with three different labeled nodes, then you will find out that in case of three different labeled nodes, it will be 30 different binary trees which are possible. Okay. Now, if you extend this, then uh, the formula will become 2n c n multiplied by n factorial upon me n plus 1. Okay. So, these many different binary trees are possible. So, uh, here you don't uh, do not have to waste times, uh, time on identifying uh, how I got this formula because uh, th there is a direct application for this formula. Okay, so if uh, in case you are not uh, satisfied, then what you can do is you can uh, take the number of binary trees which are possible with three nodes, and with all these three nodes, we are having how many different combinations. For example, here this is uh, one type of uh, binary tree, and we can make different combinations of A, B, and C. So here, all these different combinations of A, B, and C will, is going to result six different binary trees of the same uh, shape. Okay, which will be uh, uh, isomorphic. Okay.